So we're going to continue on with uh, measurement using three-dimensional objects. So in our example here, we have 12 cans that fit tightly into a box. Each can has a height of 20 centimeters and a radius of 5 centimeters. How much empty space is in the box? So when we're looking for empty space, this means we are looking for volume. Okay, so that's what we're going to be searching for. Let's take a look at the question and see how we can take the measurements from the question and then add them to our diagram. So the cans have a height of 20 centimeters and we're told that the cans fit tightly into this box. So this means that the box also has a height of 20 centimeters. Now let's look at the other dimensions of our box and of our cans. So we are told that each can has a radius of five centimeters. So I'm just gonna draw that on. Okay, so there's our radius of five centimeters. And if we have a radius of five centimeters, that means that we have a diameter of 10 centimeters. So each of these cans is 10 centimeters across. So this means that the length of our box is going to be 40 centimeters because we have 10 plus 10 plus 10 and then plus 10. And the width of our box is going to be 30 centimeters because we would have sorry 10 plus 10 plus 10. So this is going to be 30 centimeters for our width. Okay, so we are gonna be looking for the volume, so that empty space. So we have to calculate the volume of the box and we have to also calculate the volume of the cans. So let's start off with the volume of our box. Okay, so this is the volume without the cans in it. It is going to be equal to length times width times height. And we have all of our numbers right above. So length is 40, width is 30, and height is 20. So we have 40 times 30 times 20. And that is going to give us 24,000 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we have the volume of our box, and now we're going to do the volume of a can. So our cans are uh, cylinders. So the formula for volume of a cylinder is pi times radius squared times height. I'm going to use 3.14 for pi. You may choose to use the pi button on your calculator, in which case your answer will be slightly different from mine. So for the volume of our can, we have 3.14 times five squared times 20. We need to remember to do bed mass. Some of you will have a calculator that does bed mass for you, but here we're going to do our exponents first. So five to the power of two, that gives us 25. So now we have 3.14 times 25 times 20, and that's going to give us 1,570 centimeters cubed. So we have the volume of our box, and then we have the volume of one can. So to find our empty space, we need to do some subtraction. So the empty space is going to be equal to the volume of the box minus the volume of 12 cans. So we're going to do 12 times the volume of a can. And we're going to put in the numbers that we already found. So we found that the volume of our box is 24,000 and the volume of one can is 1,570. So again, we need to make sure that we follow bed mass. We're going to do um, our multiplication first and 12 times 1,570, we get 18,840. And then we're just left with the subtraction. So 24,000 minus 18,840 gives us 5,160 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's how much empty space we have. We'll write a quick uh, summary sentence. Therefore, there is 5,160 centimeters cubed of empty space.